Hey, D.O.T. community, this is Zalon coming at you with another D.O.T. video. And guess what time it is. It's my favorite events that are not alliance-based. It's the fusion events. So, it's time for all you people that have been collecting tons of titans to fuse away with a 50% extra Titan XP bonus. Uh, and also, nice at the same time, it's not just a 24-hour event. It's uh, like a day and 15 hours or so. It only started a couple hours ago. And also at the same time, it's not just a Titan Fusion event. It is also your Forge Your Relics with a 50% discount and Fuse Your Titans with a 50% discount. So... It is kind of a Relic Forging event at the same time, but not totally, because there is, again, no discount, or um, it's a bonus uh, percentage for Forging Relics, unfortunately. But, I do, I did, well, I do have some great content here set up for you, everyone, uh, because it is time, I went through and infused a lot of my 1-stars, into any level 12 one stars uh, to save food, even though you do get a, a, a there's a reduction on food already for your fusions. Um, I don't like to spend the well over 100,000 when I'm fusing up uh, high level titans. So, uh, with tons and tons and tons of one stars um, at level one. So we're going to start here with the Guardians. Again, I always, as a uh, key note to make in any of these fusion videos, I always fuse class to class uh, so that I get the most Titan XP for my bang for my buck. <laughs> or at the same time, just grind. I mean, I haven't been spending a lot, so. Um, but actually, you know what we're going to do? To start everything off. I think in this video I'm going to pull two epic tokens. Even though these are all physical titans and I'm not looking for physical titans, I'm looking for high-level fusion food. So let's pull one right now. Something good. Level 20, three-star Valwyn. Not horrible, but right now I'm not really concentrating on my paladins too much but let's give it one more shot and see what happens when we get some high level fusion food for this fusion event oh i got kelwin level 15 i got the runa of the rangers boo <laughs> all right well I still need fusion food for my rangers anyway, so I have to hey, you have to take what you can get, take your lumps. So not everybody gets amazing pulls all the time. Some people think I get all amazing pulls, so there you go, there's some proof that I do not. <laughs> Alright, so starting off with the Guardians, we're gonna go with Skolnar. And Skolnar being my favorite of the Guardians. We will be fusing him up much as we can and for this one I think I was going to go with there we go yeah I mean it's literally one level even with all these level 16 one stars so he's going to 42 and again I don't really fight with Skolnar he's just a very very good defense titan so and he takes care of all my uh, lands that I capture that have Goliaths as one of their two set teams of defenders to boost all their stats. Alright, and then my second guardian that I'm going to be taking care of with my very last fusion here in the guardian section is Matano is going to get one Karakor. Because Matano, I didn't even level him up almost at all uh, when I first got him. So here we go, Matano. A little bit of food for you, my friend. He appreciates that. 
He says, ah, fusion events are his favorite. <laughs> All right. Just like me, right? All right. And then we're going to go and we're going to head over to the paladins, although we do have a little bit more food here now. So, whoop, I am not going to fuse my Kusi into Matana. Whoops, almost made a mistake. Got to be on my toes. All right, so Kusi is definitely getting the level 20 Vowin. Nice. And we'll throw the other Vowin in. We're throwing pretty much everything in. There's a lot of food here, so... Here we go, Kosi. Yeah, we're cool. It's a fusion event. Get that out of there. Akosi! Nice. And we're gonna do another one here for Akosi. Resist against Earth. Keep those Goliaths at bay. Go over to 39. Should hold that. I think we'll just hold that last Alina there. Nice. And remember, as soon as four star titans get into the 40s, then they start really crawling levels. But unless you have, get some decent. Uh, Fusion food. And take advantage of these wonderful fusion events. All right, paladins are done. Over to champions. Let's go cleaning up the Titan Hall. All right, and champions there's a decent amount. I had to pick between one of my two Manfreds to keep and which one to fuse. The level five is getting fused. This Manfred is being kept. Reason being, he's got resist against fire, then critical armor, and then Titan physical damage. A lot better than the other Manfred, which I will also show his skills really quick. And that's Lightning Resist, Armor Piercing, Resist Earth, and Physical Damage. So, trading them out. And then, of course, keeping my level 30 Kobar, because he's my original Kobar. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, so Siegfried's got some food. Definitely he's the Titan that I am concentrating on to my champions. So, here we go. See how far we can get Siegfried. Look at that 40. Oh. We'll see if that other level 19 will get up to 41, but I doubt it. Alright. Here we go. Yeah. Siegfried. Gotta get you leveled up. I wanna get Siegfried up to level 60 like his brother. And he is a uh, ex skilled Titan, so nice one new relic. Good. We gotta get that next skill unlocked for the archers. So let's just see if that last Nope, not going to make there, but we're still going to do the fusion to make sure. We take advantage of the XP. We'll get there soon, though. Siegfried's on his way. Oh, I mean to jump out of the way. What am I doing here? And then, now that we're done with the champions, on to the infiltrators. We're going to look at sticking with the meta and the infiltrators as well. As you notice, I'm sticking with a lot of the poison titans as the ones that I'm upgrading. I'm going to do... There we go, up to 27. Very nice, Akani. So 
because I also have the five star relics for the infiltrators. So, of course, I still have to make sure that I am keeping with that because you never know when infiltrators will be specific ones will be picked or if the whole class will be picked. You never know for events. And like I said, use oh, I gotta stop doing that. Utilizing the uh, the five star relics that I have, and that does it for the infiltrators. On to the berserkers. So here I've decided that I'm going to be leveling up. Guess what? Kalavi. <laughs> it's like all poison titans. Like I said. Okay. And I also think that I should be fusing this Kuba. And this Kuba is going to get me up to. Wow, look at that jump. Yep, Kuba's going to get me over to 29 for Kamathi. Very nice. And some may say, oh, you're not concentrating on one, but if when you are fusing into all into one titan you are losing a lot of xp when not fusing to the same class so i mean again if you don't care about that that's great but i am trying to get this is where all the good fusion is look at these rangers oh yeah lots of rangers to fuse a level 20 joran that i pulled before all right so here we're going to be pushing my castle defender because I was thinking about doing it for Solzar but I need to see if I can get my castle defense to max look at that see that 230,000 we're fusing three stars and two stars it's expensive and then we'll do one more fusion after this to see if we can get them up even a little higher. But maxing out my Edelis so that I can have the strongest possible castle defense is incredibly important as well as having, you know, a really good offensive ranger as well. So that nice more imperials damage it's huge um and then here we're gonna do just a little bit more like i said one more and that should be wrapping up this fusion video and i hope you all are taking advantage of this event and fusing up as many oh man couldn't get the 53 yeah because i'm not sacrificing any of the others Because that's not going to be enough, even if I just do one. Hmm. Oh well. He will be there very soon. To 53. Very nice. Just make sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah. Actually, what if I did this? <gasps> there we go. You know, what if I didn't throw Tarn in? <gasps> I'd have to. Sorry, right, we'll throw Tarn in. So, again, to get him up to 53, one last fusion. <laughs> Some out of class. 
fusion, but I, I really don't care at this point. I just wanted to get him up a little bit higher. There we go. Nice. Even more Imperials damage. All right, let's take a look at that defensive number now. So I was at one point, I think, three million defense, I think. So with that, nice, 1.42. I'm getting there. All right, DOT community. I check real quick here and see if I can grab... Well, just with some high-level relics, not a bunch of one-stars. Let's see, because I got some some event relics that I can use here in a quick forge. Event relics. When we get that new filtering system soon enough, we won't have to do this anymore. So, all right, there we go. See if I can get some good luck. Be nuts. Five star relics are incredibly hard to fuse. But they also cost a lot of food. Normally. See? Let's do a quick 4%. Let's see if I can get any luck. Don't even have enough food. Well, <laughs> I did my best. Oh, here, I can collect a little bit more, but still. Probably won't last past one more fusion. Or forge, I should say. Can I get a 4%? But normally that is well over a hundred thousand food per. F yeah, didn't think so. Well, good luck. <laughs> You're forging. Hopefully, uh, you have a lot better luck than I do. All right, DOT community, thanks for tuning in. I will talk to you guys all again very soon.